Chase, I have a, uh, I have a hypothetical situation for you. You ready for it? Okay. You're the CEO of a car manufacturing company. And uh, it comes to your attention that a few years after releasing your, your new car, one of the safety features doesn't work as it was intended. And so your question is, what, what do you do in that situation to sort of correct the issue? All right. Hello everybody, my name is Chase Taylor. And today my question is, is if I was a CEO and one of the cars I released had a safety problem, what should I do? Well, I would say I'd probably have to make a recall. I mean, it's an honest mistake for me and my company. We should, not, we should own up to it. It's our fault, so now it's our problem. So how would I go about necessarily implementing this recall? Um, probably the best way to do that would be to contact everybody who has paid us for a vehicle. And therefore, since we have their information, we can contact them, say, hey, this is a recall. And then we should probably also put a suggested date on that. So we'll say, hey, we need you to recall, come to this, uh, your local dealer. You need to have uh, XYZ fixed by this date. By imposing a date on it, you ensure that your problem is fixed. And if they don't come by a certain date, um, that is their problem. They were made aware of the situation. And it's, a, it's pretty much their problem. And it's up to them to get it fixed at that point. Um, now, if for some reason you can reach out to them, I would say you would probably need to uh, post, it, post it to news, your general news location, so they can get the word out. And um, yeah, so overall, I would say you need to own up to your situation, get the word out as much as possible that you messed up you created a problem and that you're trying to fix it. And additionally, this all needs to be done free by me, right? I can't have a mistake caused by me and have other people paying their hard earned cash for my problem. That's just morally wrong, it should not be done. Um, yeah, so that's it, thank you. Thank you, Chase.